Hello everybody, welcome back to Analog Vernacular. Today we're going to be playing some more Tears of the Kingdom. In the last one, we uh, figured out how to uh, get into the Forbidden Forest, or the Lost Woods, I mean. And uh, also helped out the Great Deku Tree, so... Um, we've done a couple of shrines here. Um, speaking of which, I kind of want to check... Okay, so those are the three we got down below. That's the one we had marked. Alright, and if we find another one, then we'll have to mark that one below ground and maybe go and get that one too. What's this? A note from Maka. Just climb into the tree's mouth to leave the forest. I promise it won't eat you. Okay. <laughs> All right. Do we have anything to follow back here? I mean, the shrine indicator isn't going off at all, so we might have done him. Okay, so last thing that maybe we'll try and do is go back up to the top and see if we can locate where those weapons are. We may just be able to carry them back um, with Ultra Hand if we really wanted to. not and if we find one then um what we'll do is uh mark them on the map so that we know kind of where they are and which direction Ooh, it's bright let's see do we see anything let me read exactly what it said on the quest. A forest dweller sword and a forest dweller spear above the Deku tree's face. Okay, so... I thought it was above where he was at, but... Anywhere above his face. Huck. So it could be on one of these branches that are outlying, but it could also just be like on a set of rocks above somewhere. Just as long as it's above his face. Okay, so right now we're doing 44 damage with the number of hearts we have for that Demon King's bow. We've got three of those, because one of them's at our house, on display.
Yeah, we'll probably come back and do this. Okay, that's too far out. Gotcha. Alright, one other thing that I want to try. There's got to be a way to get to Lake Soraya, right? Maybe from here. Let's see if there's any lights that we can follow from here. Maybe it's another one that we can uh, come in uh, from above. That's another thing we can try. But I'm going to go here. Okay, well, we've got glowy bits. So far, so good. the next set no 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 I barely walked off the path bro come on you can't you can't be that unforgiving I was literally on the other side of the tree that had it, bro. Come on. Um, okay. It just put me right back here. That's good. Alright, so it could have been a lot worse, I guess. Um, shit. Where's the next one? There we are. Okay, they're getting harder to see. Seems like there's supposed to be something here, doesn't there? Alright, we made it. We made it. It's a lot of fish. It's in that chest. It's got to be something interesting.
What'd you leave for me, Soraya? Attack up plus six, 21 times three? The Koroks made this bow for Hylians. It's crafted from flexible wood and uses sturdy vines for the bowstring. Its construction may be simple, but it fires multiple arrows at once. That seems really powerful. 21 times three is a lot. Like, okay, so that one's a 14 times two. The Lionel one is a 20 times three. Okay, so it's almost as powerful as a Lionel. Um, so the regular one without the attack up wouldn't have been nearly as good. It's pretty interesting, though. Cool. All right, I like it. Uh, don't shoot your arrow. <laughs> Very cool. Okay. We got there. We went to Mido Swamp, so I think we're good then. I think the last thing I want to do is just make sure that we get all the roots for this area too. May as well. Also, so many, so many um, souls down here. By souls, of course, I mean pose. Not mean to drop that. Okay, <laughs> yeah, those gloom weapons are good, and I think that if you use them in conjunction with um, gloom resistance, you might be able to get some decent hits in. You just need to uh, be careful, I think. Is that a Colosseum over there? Do we have to go and try that Colosseum? Nice try, buddy. Don't you be blowing my shit away, bro. Keep you around because your gust is useful. Don't piss me off. Oh my gosh, okay. What trap are- I wonder if those are gonna lead in here. 
So I wonder if... So all of these are going to lead me into this, and then it's going to be a Yiga trap. Gotcha. All right, we're going to do it. Um, but first we mine. Because we definitely need a lot of zonite right now. No Poe left behind. Okay, let's follow this trap. And while we're doing it, we're going to pick up these items that can give us strength up buffs in our food. Thank you, Yiga. All in all, this is going to be a net gain for me. Damn it, I keep missing the headshot. Do you need a weapon? <laughs> Right, we're getting distracted, but that's a lot of pose.
Yeah, I definitely need more key swings, so... Keep bringing them on. Okay, there we go. And we're back. Okay, let's fall into this trap now. funny. So funny. Okay, so I think we've got the arm. Well, no, actually, we can change our armor since we're going to be in, in the light here. I mean, we may as well just, uh, you know what? We'll do those two and we'll do fierce deity for extra attack. Yeah, need more single-handed stuff. I really do. I really do. <laughs> We've got you now. You must be Link. You're as foolish as you are greedy. Who would have left precious bananas just lying around? You walked right into our trap. Mmm. All right, introductions. Ahem. Listen and tremble in horror, watch and quake with fear, for we are the unstoppable force sworn to eliminate you and Princess Zelda too, led by the indomitable Master Koga. Mm. We are the Yiga clan. Mm. And now, you're about to pay the price for your foolishness. Let me introduce you to our debt collector, born of the depths, lurking in the darkness of the forest coliseum. <laughs> Behold the black Henox. Oh, I need Henox parts. Thank you so much. I actually need a weapon. Nice, thank you. Okay. I mean, good effort, guys. That's all you got, huh? Only one. Losers. <laughs> um, okay. What was I just about to do? That's right. We need you to be fused with something. Use attack power. Don't necessarily want to use something I only have one of.
A mask inspired by those fun-loving Koroks. It shakes when one is nearby. It's a rather rare find. Cool. Helps us, so that, that'll help us find Koroks if we want to. Nifty. Um, do I have a way that I want to mark these as done? Like the ones that I've done. Maybe I'll do that to mark them done. Where was the other one that we did? Was it that? No, I think that's something else. <laughs> All right. Um, no idea where that other one is. Might have been that. But no, it probably looks exactly like the other one, right? Yeah, definitely looked like that. I don't think we've done this one. I don't think that's the one we did, but it might be. Is that the only one we can see? I could have sworn it was over here, but... Yeah, I don't know. Okay. Okay, most likely that's the end of this area. I would not be surprised if this is an isolated area for the uh, forest. Huck. Yep, it seems like it. Seems like it's completely isolated. Well, cool. I think that means that we're pretty much done with this area then. Looks like there might be a connection over here, but I'm not worried about going that way right now. So I think that uh, the forest is done. Awesome. Okay. I am curious to find out if um, Hestu is just not going to be here anymore, which seems to probably be the case. But let's find out. And while I'm here, I think the well lady is always here, so maybe we should turn that in, get a little bit of extra money. We found a lot of wells since the last time we've talked to her. Hey, look, Zora here now. Cool. Okay, yeah, looks like uh, Hestu's just going to be at the forest now. Though rare, fairy sightings are possible inside wells. They're floaty and tough to catch, but you can manage pretty well if you approach them nice and sneaky. Huh? I got more for you. Ma! Thanks, so 23 of them this time. I'll give you 10 rupees per location, 230 rupees total, all yours. <laughs> yeah, it's been a while since we uh, turned those in. Thanks for sharing. I'm excited to go and visit all of these wells. Let's see, how many left across Hyrule? Uh, there's a, still a total of 31 to find. Ah. 
It can be hard to find old hidden wells. If only there was some sort of tool for searching for things. Let's chat again if you find any more well locations. It almost sounds like there might be a sensor plus thing that you can do for wells, but... Okay, I want to find where the next Po location is. Oh, I was really hoping I would see the, um, the Fierce Deity Sword in this list. Ah, uh, There's got to be a way of getting a unique weapon like that back, though, that... Maybe there's not. Maybe there's not. Maybe once you use it, it's gone. It makes it really hard to actually use it, though. I will tell you of the location of one of my brethren in the depths of this land. Okay. Pretty far away. Alright, so now I'm thinking um, I should probably check each area, and anywhere where we have things like this, we should maybe go and get them. Um, so this is an area we haven't explored very well right here. This is an area we haven't explored very well. Obviously, we're going to be getting into the Gerudo stuff. But I think maybe we sweep down and to the left. got that one and we've got this um, maze that we could also do I also want to do Lurlin somewhat soon. It's like the last major town that we need other than Gerudo. I think I might have what I need to uh, do the pants for the... Uh, for the deity set. we miss you? I'm coming, Addison. I'm coming. I don't know how I accidentally skipped you, bro. Okay, threading that needle might be difficult. Um, I should probably just try and do each side or something. Let's see, what do we need? That. Now I'll just put one on the other side and maybe that'll be good. This 
one gonna be close enough? Um, it's gonna fall down the hill if I'm not bracing it underneath. I should do it. Is it good or is it good? You're welcome, Madison. Okay, Master Sword is back. We'll have to keep an eye out for something we might want to fuse with it. Okay, so I can probably get into this level from here. Well, let's go ahead and do this first. I did not even realize that that's what that was. One rupee. All right, we do need a photo of a um, horriblin. So in hopes that there's a horriblin in here. I want him to throw something at me. Oh, that one's a cool one. Okay. That might that might be the one we make the statue out of. <laughs> It's hard. One thing of gloom that's gonna come back. So if I'm already like down a couple of hearts, I can like sacrifice some of these for a gloom. I absolutely can do that. Because it's not really losing health at that point if we're already hurt, you know? Okay, we got our picture for the quest. That's good.
Nice, that's the first silver horriblin we've got. Hardy truffles are always good. All right, we're going to let him come out. Hinox. We need them. We need lots of Hinox parts. Stand a chance. It just got a little cave water on it. It's fine. We can still eat it. <laughs> it's fine. Um, okay. So that one's a 28, technically, if both hit. This one's a 25, but I think that one has longer distance. Um, let's see. What do I want to lose? I never use these ones properly. I think you're supposed to charge them up and use battery, so... Okay, so, funnily enough, this is our way in. We're underneath, like, look at the map. We're underneath that right now. So, I definitely want to come back here, but there was one other path, and there's going to be a bubble gem somewhere in here. So, we need to go and try and figure that out. Um, do I want you? How do you compare to this? No, it has more attack.
Yeah. Okay. Also, we want to get the uh, shrine that was right outside here. Um, okay, there's that. And then somewhere over here, I think there's going to be another pathway to our right. Is that where we came in? This is where we haven't gone. Really, no bubble gem, huh? You may have just missed it again. Sometimes they're pretty well hidden. We'll keep an eye out on our way back in. For little offshoots that we might have missed. It's a little tiny island over there that I want to check out, too. Flotational Brilliance. Okay, it's these weird ones again. That was a mistake. What the hell? Why won't it, like, I can't lift it up? Alright, well, we'll let it settle. Whatever. Works for me. The physics for those are weird as hell.
Okay, that works. I don't even care about that chest. I really don't like the physics of these weird balls. I'm not even gonna go for it. <laughs> Okay, now let's make our next step into the labyrinth. On the way, once again, we'll keep an eye out for an offshoot that we may have missed for the bubble frog. for, you know, explodable walls and things like that. Forgot, gotta get rid of you. Get out of here. There we go, now they're all lined up. Damn, already? Alright, buddy. Yeah, give me more stuff. I'm all for it. Maybe there really isn't a bubble frog in here. Once again, I didn't see anything. Watch, it's gonna be in here. Oh, I can hear it. Oh my gosh. Um, don't do that. at just such an angle. That'll do it.
Ooh, is there going to be gloom hands in here? I guess there were in the other one, so most likely yes. not actually what I wanted. Come on! Oh my god, fuck you, bro. Seriously. I'm getting mad. These guys are obnoxious, dude. You can't even get away from him fast enough to, like, be effective. This is stupid. Drop it, bro. How was that not a perfect dodge, bro? I don't understand these fucking windows. Okay, that's the cursed one. I think I'm gonna do the same thing I did with the last one. Okay, good, it's still a one-handed.
Okay. So somewhere that direction is where the center is. I'm guessing that's my goal. And the way there... Is there a way to ascend through this? No. Alright, so are any of these... No, they're all just outside of this room. Okay. Let's see what it looks like up here. That looks like that might be a way in right there. Quite possibly. Alright, at any rate, this is where I need to end this episode, so thank you all for being here, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one. Have a good one, everybody. I'd like to give a very special shout out to my patron supporters, Darren York, ZTD, Knife Namase, Kyle the Monarch, Andrew Smith, Chris Murphy, JW, Bracken, Quinless, Chris Smith, Vlado101, Andy Ford, The Blue Electric Cat, and Kyle Schluter. If you would also like to join this tier or any others, check out my memberships or my Patreon in the description down below.